guys welcome back when we try to capture a web page or a list we usually use the inbuilt tools like the print screen or the snipping tool but they are not capable of taking a snap of the whole web page or a list at once today i'll show you how to take a long screenshot let's get started to take a scrolling screenshot we'll be using the tool named pick pick Open new, open a new tab in your browser and type P I C P I C K. Click on the first link. This is the tool we'll be using. Click on download. We'll be using the free version for now and click on the blue download button. It will start downloading the software. When done, click on the installer. Click yes. Next, agree the terms and hit install. Click on finish. It will open a readme file. When installed, open the app from your home screen. It will show a bunch of options under the screen capture. We will just select scrolling window. But before that, let me open a web page to show how it works. Why not we go to its official page? Ok, now let's make it full screen and we will start capturing. Click on scrolling window and it will detect where a scrolling, scrolling page is. It will start auto scrolling. If it's a long page, it may take a bit of time but it's worth your time. When the page comes to an end, it will cut the capture and open its app. Here you can review the screenshot which has been taken by the app. You can save it in multiple formats. To do that, click on the small floppy disk and rename the file. You can save it wherever you want, desktop downloads anywhere. I selected PNG format and click on save. This is the screenshot which I have saved. Even if you zoom in, the quality won't be disturbed. It not only works in web pages, it also works in Windows apps like the Control Panel or the File Explorer. I'll just show you in Control Panel. I'll go to the apps list, full screen it. We'll just open the app again and under screen capture again click scrolling window. Click on the window you want. It will start auto scrolling. Again it shows the preview of the screenshot. Click on save. Now I am saving it as a jpg image. This is the screenshot. And no matter where you take, the quality isn't reduced. Hope you liked it. We'll come back with more tech tips. Until then, take care. Bye bye.